Hello again and welcome to Simple Grounds YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at fencing pliers. Now this is a tool that's used to build and repair wire fence. Any type of wire, barbed wire, smooth wire, net wire. This is a specialized tool and it's not extremely common. I've used it a lot though. I grew up on a ranch and I've used this type of plier more than I'd care to. They're very useful and they have their limits. Hopefully I can share some of those with you today and you can utilize this awesome tool. Now I'll point out some of the features to begin with. It's got a hammer head on this side. It's got a pointed end on this side. It's a spike. It's also has an opening action here and it has more than one gripping place. Two on the top, one on the bottom here. It also has a couple places, one on each side for cutting wire. Now to begin I'm going to show you some tricks with staples and my handy dandy scrap piece of board. First of all this hammer side isn't a full-blown hammer. Hammers work much better and if you're doing miles of fence you're going to carry a hammer and not just this tool. But if you're only carrying this tool and you're repairing fence there's a staple that's loose this hammer action will come in handy. See, I can hit this staple pretty hard. It doesn't move very fast. It's not like hitting it with a hammer, but it'll definitely get the job done if this is the only thing in your pocket. Now, this other end is for pulling staples. Um, there's more than one method to pull a staple with a pair of fencing pliers. The best trick with the hook, though, is when your staple is in good and tight, this hook will get right into it to pull. And if it still doesn't fit, you can hit it hard. Oops. And you can dig in and begin to pull. The easiest way to pull, though, is by using this first hook. This first hook at the top. After it's far enough out that you can pinch it and grab it, you pinch it, and it'll pull right out. Try doing that with a claw hammer. It'll never come out. Now, these two holes have use for wire, but they also have use for staples. You see here, if you have a pair of, or a fencing staple, it'll fit right in there. That way, you can start a nail without ever hitting your fingers. Demonstrated there. Now I'm going to show you a few tricks with wire. Now this is the real reason that I carried fencing pliers around with me up on the hill is to use use them to work with my wire. Now I have a few pieces of beat up scrap wire here to work with. The cutting action on these is is quite amazing. It is possible to cut through both strands of wire at the same time. If you line them up correctly and you use both hands you can cut right through both pieces at the same time now if you're cutting wire all day your hands gonna get worn out another trick to keep in mind is to set it lightly and cut one wire at a time you just grab one wire at a time as you um, position it there and you can cut one wire at a time that's really the trick here I'll cut some more. I'll do it on this angle so you can see it. You can see both both sides cut equally well. It's actually quite a marvelous tool. Another trick with the wire is separating the wire. Now you can do this a couple of ways. First you can grab it with the first pincher at the very top and twist the wire and it'll come apart. The other method is to use the second one and twist. You can see here that it has these jagged edges or these square edges. That's to help grip the wire as you twist. And you can separate your wire. Now there's lots of reasons why you'll need to do that. As you, as you fix your fence you'll notice that double stranded smooth wire is heavier duty than you need to repair certain parts so you can easily split it. 
So another thing these pliers are good for is um, splicing two broken wires together. So if you're a fixing fence and you have your two wires, you stretch them and they will now meet, you need to make a splice. Now if you were to use your pliers to make a bend, bend the wire, then you can use these two notches to hold the wire while you use another set of pliers to twist. Now of course if you were doing this out in the field this second piece would be much longer. It'd be back here so you could twist it around and twist it tight. You don't want to make this end too small or it'll wear off the galvanized coating like you can see on this rusted wire. It wears off the galvanized coating and it allows it to rust. So you always want your twists to be large and gradual. But you can see here once you make that loop you can grab it with the pliers. Well that concludes my video. Those are a few uses for the fencing pliers. Now it becomes a useful object instead of an interesting keepsake. Good luck fixing fences. Please watch more of my videos. Share your experiences in the comments below. Visit my website. Thank you so much for watching.